Hello! In this video I'll show you how to repair faulty nickel metal hydrate battery instead of buying the new one. I have two Bosch nickel metal hydrate batteries from cordless power tools. One is performing very well, but other not so good. Most of the case there are two reasons of that. First, natural battery wear down. And second, only few cells just die inside battery pack. Because of nickel metal hydrate chemistry, you here won't work with zapping method, like on NICAD batteries. So, bad cells must be identified and replaced. Both batteries was fully charged with original charger. Let's check what voltage they hold. This is the good one. And with this one is definitely something wrong. Comparing to good battery, there is a gap of 2.7 volts. By looking at this number and knowing that both batteries are fully charged, I'm guessing that there is two dead cells inside. Let's take it apart and check how it looks inside. One nickel metal hydride cell nominal voltage is 1.2 volts. Full charged, they could have up to 1.45 volts. So my guess makes sense. Everything looks pretty nice, no leaking or corroded cells. Let's check voltages of individual cells and identify bad ones. Here is the first one. And here is the second bad cell. Before beginning repair process, I used my IMAX B6 charger to discharge three randomly picked cells at 2 amps of load and 1 volt cutoff voltage, because at 1 volt cell will be almost empty. I did that because I want to know how much juice still left in good cells and does repairing this battery is worth it at all. All three cells showed around 2 amp hours of capacity. So all good and this battery is still usable. At local electronic parts shop I bought two nickel metal hydride cells. They are rated 2.8 amp hours of capacity and they have spot welded tabs which will help me to solder cells back. I paid 3 euros for each cell, so this is gonna be a really cheap fix. Also they could be purchased at eBay, Amazon or other online shop. Remove the bad cells by using knife and cutters. Solder new cells in place. Final check and looks everything is ok. Reassemble everything back in battery housing and put it on charge.
After a few minutes, charger showed that battery is full. What about voltage? It is as it should be. Healthy and full charge 18 volts battery must hold about 21 volts. That's 50 cells multiplied by 1.4 volts. 1.4 volts is each cell top voltage when they got full charged. You having fault in nickel metal hydro battery from cordless power tools not always mean that you have to throw it away and buy the new one. Most of the case you can change only a few bad cells inside and keep it running. If this video was helpful, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.